Good morning, I'm Joe Von Varko with JSP Traffic with this special video update. We have three major incidents going on right now causing significant delays. First of all, let's start off with I-95. And right as I'm saying this, one lane of I-95 northbound is being open. The vehicle that was on the left-hand side did not fare as much damage. It was only pushed up against the divider, which, hey, that's still not good, but it's not as bad. The vehicle you see over here by the fire truck is completely flipped upside down, which means it's going to take a while to remove this vehicle, and there will probably be a further investigation as to what happened. I'm not sure whether there's any fatalities or if anyone was injured. I would assume at least an injury, but this is a serious accident. The traffic is backed up all the way back to I-676. That is north of Indiana Street where the delay ends, where the accident is, and look at this, traffic is just completely stopped. Some people may still find it useful to exit at Girard, but for everyone who already did exit at Girard, now you're starting to back up the local roadways. It is just a complete mess. Just to get from I-676 to just north of Girard, right now the average travel time is 25 minutes to do this 1.5 mile stretch. I mean, yes, yeah, pretty bad. And you can see, if you look up in the real close, there's the Market Frankfurt L line. Just beyond that, if you look real close, there's the traffic starting to come to a complete stop. And if that's not bad enough, let's take a look at traffic coming into town on the Schuylkill Expressway this morning. Look at this. Bumper to bumper. Stop and go right here at Montgomery. Because if we go further inbound, we do have an accident here at Girard. Where at least two lanes are getting by now. A minute ago it was only one lane, but I mean, let's just follow this delay back. I mean, here's east of Montgomery. Parking lot, stop and go. I mean, here's Montgomery again. And as you saw, it's bumper to bumper inbound. Look at the traffic trying to get off to bail out. It is still bumper to bumper. And we can go back even further. Let's go to west of Montgomery. Traffic is still backed up. Let's go back again. Let's see if this thing has grown. And look at this. Here we are approaching the Roosevelt Expressway. Stop and go. Let's go back one last camera. And here we go again. So really now, what was uh, before a three-mile delay, it's becoming a four-mile delay now because City Line Avenue, once you start getting up near City Line Avenue, a little bit past that, that's four miles to Girard. And look at this. Traffic is really back up. And we can go back even further here to Belmont. It's not back to Belmont yet, but... Give it another 10 minutes and it will be. Now we have to go over to New Jersey. But before we go over to New Jersey, we do have one thing to look at here. And the Northeast Extension this morning. If you're going to be traveling the Northeast Extension this morning, coming from the Blue Route, yes, the Easy Pass Express lanes are closed this morning. Once again, they're starting working on the Smart Loop devices within the roadway. They did southbound last week and they also did northbound recently. But they have a little bit more work to be done. Currently, traffic is just slow through the area. It's not causing a major delay. As volumes start to increase, say, around noontime, if this is not picked up, it could cause a bit of a minor delay. Luckily, they have two lanes open flowing into the plaza versus one when they did this the first weekend, which caused a complete disaster domino effect on the Schuylkill Expressway. That's not the case today. Now let's go over to New Jersey where we have a humongous delay on the New Jersey Turnpike and it looks like we picked up an accident too. Let's read what this says. Accident on the New Jersey Turnpike South, south of Interchange 8, east of Windsor Township, only the left shoulder is blocked. Well gee, that's not too bad. However, we still have delays on the New Jersey Turnpike. Let's take a look at the camera because what they say is probably incorrect. Because they are incorrect quite a bit. And yeah, of course, look right here. As you can see southbound, this is where the merge is. I don't think this camera is going to work. No, it's not because this camera is out of service until they're finished the construction project because the structure it was sitting on no longer exists. But yeah, it starts backing up, approaching the merge. Then, it, then, then you go past the Molly Pitcher service area. And you can see, if you look real closely, it is slow through here. And here's where they say the delay starts. So now we're all the way down at around Interchange 8. And it continues down to where this accident is now. It did extend a little bit further before, but now it goes down to this accident. So 
we have about a five to six mile delay on the southbound New Jersey Turnpike. It's not seven miles anymore. But who's to say it is not going to grow? Because basically what you have going on here is people who like to go down south for the winter. Today's the day they're doing it because it's cold outside. It's winter temperatures are coming. As soon as it hits a certain temperature, it's the time of year they start going south. And we noticed this last year, too. As soon as we had our first hard freeze, the people started going south for the winter. We also now have an accident on the Garden State Parkway, northbound at exit 9, Shelby Avenue in Middle Township, one lane block. This is down near Ocean City and uh, Cape May this morning. Expect delays in that area. And we also have an unanticipated construction delay this morning on US 9 southbound between Edison Bridge in Sayersville, Woodbridge, and Jake Round Road in Old Bridge Township. Two right lanes may be closed until 10 a.m. There is a 10 to 15 minute delay. That's all I have for this morning. Have a great weekend. I'll be adding anything else that pops up throughout the day. Enjoy and drive safe.